some people are more susceptible to developing headaches than others. Migraines in particular are genetic. They run in families. There's almost always a family member. Even if they didn't have a clear diagnosis of migraine, a patient may remember a parent or a grandparent who had what used to be called a sick headache, where they'd have to go to bed and lie down in the dark. Oftentimes, that implies that there's a family history of migraine. With migraines in particular, there's a, a real difference between men and women. Women tend to have headaches three times as frequently as men do, and we think the reason for that is hormonal. A lot of women who do have migraines notice that their migraines get much less frequent once they go through menopause. Migraine headaches are often one-sided. They're accompanied by vomiting, by light sensitivity. Sometimes people will have changes before they get the headache where they'll ha see flashing lights. They'll have trouble speaking. They may get numb on one side of their body or the other. Medical treatments for headaches include lots and lots of different kinds of medications. I tell people that every medication has side effects and it's really important to ask your your healthcare professional to explain those to you and to give you some written information if needed about potential side effects. Um, there are treatments such as, as botulinum toxin that can be injected into your head in multiple sites that can really help if you have a lot of migraines. There are is a procedure called a nerve block where half of your head can be almost anesthetized so that you don't feel the pain. Those are some of the medication and interventional treatments. People often ask if there are long-term health implications from having headaches, and research is beginning to tell us that yes, for certain types of headaches, there may actually be increased health risks, such as cardiovascular risk for women who have migraines in particular. So these are the kinds of things, if you have headaches, you really want to tell your primary care doctor about it, ask if a referral to a headache specialist is appropriate for you.